six string basses on only for weird funky metal. So to celebrate Dwayne Eddy's 60th anniversary, we have a rather special uh, guitar bass. Yeah, this is a bass slash guitar. So the Dwayne Eddy signature model, it has existed before, what is it, 6120? 6120 6, 6, 6, yeah. yeah, D. Yeah, D. Gretsch numbers. But um, yes, uh, Dwayne Eddy has had signature models before. He had a single cut version of this instrument available in that classic Gretsch orange. But now we get this double cut, gold hardware, and a very fetching black with a lovely off-white uh, front and rear binding. Obviously, Dwayne Eddy's kind of known for Dan Electro's before. Yeah, yeah. How so long has he, he had the <laughs> orange bass? I don't know, as long as ever. But, okay. you know, he, yes, he certainly made his name playing Dan Electro's. And that was, of course, because at the time um, at the time that he was coming about and he wanted that tic-tac bass sound, Dan Electro was probably the only company producing a six-string bass. So this type of instrument, they're all inspired by the Fender Bass 6, which has had a bit of a, a renaissance recently when Squire introduced the vintage modified bass six about four or five mm -hmm. years ago. The idea of a bass six is that it's a, a guitar um, with a 30 inch scale. So think of it like a baritone guitar, only instead of being tuned B to B, it's tuned E to E, an octave down from a guitar and it has its own very unique set of, of strings on it. So. That's kind of the Fender Bass 6, but of course the Fender Bass 6 was only actually produced back when Dwayne Eddy was, you know, playing all the time. He is still playing, obviously, <laughs> but back when, you know, back when he was gigging, Fender only made that guitar for like three years. Mm. And so then Dan Metro would have made it, and then of course now this Gretsch one. And this is certainly, this is probably the most premium version of that sort of basic style instrument you can get because it's a proper Gretsch. It's a hollow body which suits the sort of that tic tac. The twang. twang that twang a little bit more um and it's just yeah a super versatile way to play bass and play guitar in one <laughs> what is a little unusual is the uh, the Bigsby attachment which which it comes with yeah right? yeah you don't uh, of, of course it's a bass guitar with a Bigsby which is a is a little bit ridiculous although that said bass sixes did come with their own that sort of jazz master style trem but let's be honest it doesn't work or do anything on a on a bass six this is a very functional Bigsby so yeah having that option on uh, on bass is definitely interesting cool. but I actually think this has got loads of modern application as well um, because of course tic tac you know, this would be very niche if, if Gretsch were producing this instrument now just for tic-tac players. But if you think about bands like Royal Blood who were playing mm. bass through loads of effects and using it as a guitar, this is right up that sort of street because you've got access to all those low notes. If you're in a two-piece or something, you've got all those low bass notes, but then you have all this sort of guitar high end as well. And it sounds great through effects. <laughs> Thank you. 
was the Gretsch. Dwayne Eddy, 6120. What did you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We shall see you very soon.